If you see what we can see, then adventure it's for all of us. There's a place that we should be. Come along, come along, cause it's high time we can lose. Come and dress. Welcome back. Remember last year we were doing planks, weren't we? Then we got rained off and got distracted. So today, well, yesterday we looked at the weather and it looks beautiful. So is that right? We're doing planks today. We prepared all the planks in the workshop. But the weather's giving it a bit hit and miss. So what we're going to be doing is some planks from the inside. So last year we got up to here. And we've got the, the, the bottom beam shelf is finishing here so what we need to do before the beam shelf goes in is continue with the planks so i think we're going to be removing the beam shelf now three meters long and then we're going to start removing the tops of the planks now right, it's been ages setting up some better lighting one down there one down there so hopefully you can see a little bit better now all right we're going to start by pulling off some beam shelf and then we can have a look at the tops of the frames so we're going to get the, the sabre saw out, start choppy choppy. So it's quite unnerving cutting your beam shelf out. The first one we cut sort of pinged a little bit. First thing that's ever pinged, I only moved like a millimetre out, but still a bit of tension in it. But don't try this at home, don't forget, we're professionals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good fine, it? Just don't copy what we do. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure there's a saying there, isn't there? Do it. Don't do as we do, do as we say. Well, don't, I won't even do that. Yeah. Right, so the beam shelf's away now. So we've noticed that this frame, this frame here that was behind the beam shelf is pulled at the top. So we need to bring this down, scarf it down there somewhere. How are you looking, Jim? Getting rid of the top of this frame. Oh, the window one. Yeah. They're easy to change them, them ones, aren't they? Yeah. Cut that copper nail. So obviously we still don't know what we're doing over these, what we're calling the gun supports. Because um, obviously they're original, so we'd probably like to keep them, but obviously it's rotten. But then are we trying to keep, are we trying to keep them just because they're original and they're not practical? Because they just eat, they'll eat into the space, won't they, for whatever's here. And obviously that's rotten at the top, it's alright further down. But it's not doing the job because we haven't got no guns and we don't plan on putting any guns back. So I said for now, until we've made a final decision what's going on with these, that's rotten anyway. So to get access to the frames and the planks, just cut it there, I think. Yeah? Good plan because we can always restore them at a later date, can't we? Um, yeah. 
People that, I, I think I would like to keep them because it's a very historic thing. It's a good talking point as well. These used to support the gun. So what, but it had then, a gun? It had a gun on it? But then we've got them both sides and them ones I think are in better condition. So do we just keep one side? I don't know. I don't I don't like lopsided boats. I hate them. Boats should be as symmetrical as they can, especially structurally, because they had a better structure as well. So you know what I hate? Leaking boats. Look well that's 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 how that's what we're doing, isn't it? All this now is to stop it leaking. Hopefully next winter it won't leak. <laughs> well this well. area the boat, don't <laughs> Right, so we're just gonna chop that off unfortunately. And then we'll um we'll figure out that later. So you remember when we done all the frames as well, we didn't cut them over the windows just so we had a bit of extra support in there now. It's time to cut it now so we can get to the planks at the top. Simon's trusted me with this one. cut on good wood. <laughs> well this is still good. <laughs> I was thinking a while back like is this boat like is all the stuff we're putting in it is it rotten do we're taking that long. <laughs> By the time we finish we we'll start again. Feel like the fourth bridge would it? <laughs> start again. Right anything else that needs to come off on yeah. this one. Well, I'm gonna yeah you may as well cut that one off and I'm gonna start looking into Cutting this one off here. Okay. So we're getting quite cocky now, all this cutting cutting parts of your boat away. Dude, initially it was like, oh, only take a tiny bit out, replace that a tiny bit out, and now we're just like, oh, it's fine. Got to think, you got all the planks on the outside, which have been there for like, God knows how many years, keeping the shape of the boat and the strength in it. I know how many years. 80? 80. 80 years. <laughs> 80 and a bit, actually. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I'm there. Uh... You know, we're back to like climbing on the hull, aren't we? Which is tiring. Oh, it's not too bad being a camera person, actually. Good news somebody's bought us from our Amazon wish list a lot of tea bags. Unfortunately, there's no notes, so whoever bought them, thank you very much. That should last us a week. That should keep us going for a little bit, that. Right, we are not a cooking channel, but we've had a few random people asking, how do you make a cup of tea? Because obviously a cup of tea is a very <laughs> English, very British thing, okay. and obviously we've got a lot of worldwide viewers. Now, Simon makes the best cup of tea in the world. Right. You, like, you, it's the best. I can't do it the same as him. So, give I'll us be, a quick... I'll be honest with you, I hate people on... <laughs> well, I always skip through, I hate skipping through people's videos, but whenever someone starts cooking, yeah. I always go, not interested. Yeah. But, okay, here goes. First job, find the cleanest cup. That'll do. So, obviously, boil the water. Get some tea bags, throw them in your selected cups. Because one of us isn't very sweet. We have to put a sweetener in. Then we put the water in. And it's always compulsory that you spill a bit of water, isn't oh, it? Always compulsory, yeah. Because well that helps clean the side. Then we stir it, not too fast, or too slow. Just stir it like clockwise or anti-clockwise? Doesn't, doesn't matter at all, doesn't matter. I'd shake it if I could, but that would make even more mess. So you always give them a really good stir. This is where Gemma lacks it. Gemma just goes, that'll do. <laughs> That's very true. It is, I know, <laughs> I know it is. Then you get your milk. Obviously put the milk in with the tea bag still in. A little bit of milk. Okay. And stir it again. Then you look at the colour. Does the colour look okay? Colour looks fine. And what you do now, right, 
this is the trick for me anyway Gemma won't notice this but you then take the tea bag out of the one with no sweetener in it give that a squeeze and you get this one then you squeeze this one over that one because if you squeezed Gemma's over mine I can taste the nasty sweetener and that is how you make the perfect brew. That's hotter than the sun. Right, so the frame's away. Stupid light, bad place that. Big shadows, never mind. So what we need to do now is start looking into replacing some planks. So you can see here there's some bit of a rot, so we're gonna cut down here maybe. And then we can start replacing that one, and then this one here needs replacing. How many how many needs replacing? All of them. <laughs> so We'll get them all cut out now while it's still raining. As soon as the weather improves, they'll be cut, prepped, and ready for the new ones to go in. Woo! We can even make the new ones yeah. inside now. So then the second the weather improves, we'll have the jigsaw puzzle just to flash, fish, bash, bosh, job done. So that frame is all cut out now and the scarf's cut, so we're ready to start cutting the planks out from the inside. So plan is, Simon's going to mark them all, I'm going to cut them, and Simon's going to do with all the nails and stuff. So I can't cut through the outer planks, only the 15mm inner planks. So I've got my multi-tool bit, and I've put a bit of tape on it, <laughs> so I know when to stop. So don't go all the way through my boat. Of silence, where echoes remain. You are the sunrise, and I was the rain. A collision of souls, opposing and fly. I was the darkness, you yearn for the light.
even though we were working inside, um, I'm getting soaked, study ya. <laughs> Just constantly dripping on your head. Right, to give you more of a context of how long this has took us, we started actually taking stuff apart at 10 o'clock this morning and it is now half one. <laughs> so it's a very, very, very slow process taking these planks off. What date is it? I love YouTube channels which say today's date is the 3rd of April <laughs> and it is half one. Oh, you've got some like little bits of potpourri in your room. Potpourri? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. I go home with half a boat attached to me. I see. See? Advantage. <laughs> That's why you Non-stick head. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. The uh, wind's just picked up outside as well, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I'm losing the window as well. Well, it's not held on with much, is it? No. So someone's got to go outside and fix that before we leave. Bagsy, not me. <laughs> so the main issue with this one, he found, <laughs> is the bolt going through it. Well, can you get, without going outside, can you get your hand down to get a hold spanner on while I impact I might be able it off? To push the window out, but <laughs> can you not? No, I think I'll just work. I'll just work around. Yeah, look, hold on. Yeah, if I can get up there, I'll be able to get my hand down with a spanner. Do you think? Yeah. So it's going outside. Mm, okay. I don't want to be out there in this hurricane. Are you on it? Yeah. Oh, dropped it. I thought you did it with some more threaded bar. Uh, no, no, it was a, a broken drill bit. Something just doesn't feel right about like deconstructing your boat when it is howling outside. Um, but so what we've noticed, which is really good news, is that outside planks are all good. Which, you know, in your head you think like the outside would rot before the inside, wouldn't you? So all the outside planks here are all good, so it's only the inside ones we need to do. And it's half two now, by the way. Still cutting out. Nearly there though, aren't we? Just as long as it doesn't fall out. Yeah, good, right, so what we're gonna do now is call the planks to the right width and then we'll open the, and then we'll call the angles on them, then we'll open up the deck, then we'll fit them from the top. Oh, 
So that's plank number one, isn't it? Plank number one. So that goes in the number one slot. And we're going to go all the way down now and cut all the angles. You hate it when it's just not long enough. <laughs> okay, well next time I'll do it on the on the longer side of that. Yeah. That makes sense. Technically now though, we should get to do something like that. That's it. Right, time to open up the deck. Perfect day for it today. Loads of water rushing past. Not sure where it is. There's another one there. Look at that plane. Ah. Uh. We don't often see decent planes here. Big American transport plane. Okay, well. As I was saying, we don't need to go that far, we'll, we'll, we'll cut through this one. Shut off you. That's what Gemma does. <laughs> I don't like walking on the edge of the road, especially when like <laughs> the tide's ripping past. It just makes me feel like more danger. 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 Oh yeah, look at that hole. Oh, don't fall down there. Oh my goodness. Don't fall down there. <laughs> okay, I'll try not to. Removing the old nails off the side. No. That was the last, don't push. Are you pushing? No, I'm trying to pull. Okay. Okay, let me go. Let me go, let me go. Oh yeah. Maybe he's have a little handle or tape. I couldn't hold that window as Simon was unscrewing it, so I put some tape on and made a little handle so I could sort of hold it back and stop it from falling. <laughs> Worked quite well. <laughs> okay, so now we've got some outside planks to do as well. Now we did a quick test fit of our planks, slightly too big, so we'll cut the, we'll do a rough off the top of them here. Um, there's a couple of little, tiny little corrections, there's a correction on this one, this is the first one we did, so to be expected. So we've got to correct that, and then we've got to cut all the tops off. So if we just remark this one here, now we'll just go over big with these for now. So the side's slackened off now, as you can see, it's pretty um, still. And in a minute, it's going to be going all the way out there, out to sea. What are you doing now? Just gluing my boat together. Yeah? Yeah. Loads of glue.
It's always hard to know how much to put on, isn't it? Loads. All of it. All of it. All right, shall I go up top then? Yeah, go on then. May as well. May as well take the camera with you. It's a better view up there, isn't it? It's quite unnerving when you look out the window. Oh, okay, when you look out where the window used to be. <laughs> see like the, like the wall going past you backwards. It's a bit weird. Alright, plank number one. Number one going in. Right, so the first one's gone in quite nice. Now for the second one. Number two coming at you. Don't throw a number two at me. <laughs> Number three. Beautiful. Good there. Yes. Okay, you hold it there for a second or try yeah. and get a screw in it. Right, we're on to the last three pieces now. We've done all the way down there. Not sure what size window fits in that hole there, but so we're going to go across that window then as well now. Put some glue on it. Oh, we haven't run out. Bit of a change in colour, never mind. Okay, so we're on number 11. You good? Yes. Mm. Oh, stupid drills. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we own any decent drills? <laughs> oh, that's funny. I'm laughing at you, I've just sat in a puddle of glue. Oh no. Am I out? Yeah. Yeah.
Just putting the thread of bar back through our knees. Beautiful. Okay. Last one. Beautiful. All secure again. Right, there's 13 new planks. Upper planks, anyway. Oh, no raining, isn't it? Yeah. So it's just starting to rain. The weather did give it, it's going to rain around this time. Uh, start boarding it all back up and then we'll um, then we'll go outside and we'll cut around the windows. Oh. Right, I need a jigsaw. Forget that. I just didn't want you to put your hands in it. Oh, there's loads of it around there. This <laughs> jigsaw's going to be covered in it in a minute. Right, so you want a jigsaw. Yep. Hold on a sec, let me just get you a battery. Right, time to fit the window. Screws. Impactor. Check. What do you need to fit the window? One screw that was already in it. Um, and a window. I can't really help, can I? Because I can't hold it for me. Yeah, just be a bit more support if you want. Yay, go Simon! <laughs> oh, maybe I should have cleaned them. That's it, punch that glass. So I know it looks really, really messy at the moment um, with all the polyurethane sealants and stuff like that. But you think once it's all dry and it's all sanded back, it'll look like it does over there. But there's nothing really we can do now until the sealant's dried. We can sand it all back and then we can paint it before we move on to fitting the beam shelf. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was scared of falling off a ladder then, but I'd only land in mud, wouldn't I? You got your wellies on now? No. You can't touch the floor. No, it's like, yeah. The floor is lava. The floor is lava, yeah. Alright, last window. So we had one plank on the outside and I was a bit like, I need changing that. And we were like, oh, does it? Is it okay? Um, no, it does. Well, we so, said that we were going to do it at a later date, but... But before the glue dries now, <laughs> we're going to take it off. Because otherwise we will never ever get it off once the glue sets. Yeah, look all that glue on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, there we go. Bit of boat. Yeah. So yeah, that is another little job to do when the rain stops. Oh, I can see what's going on now. I'm just getting rid of the glue. Obviously this one is changed as well, but we'll leave that in. I wanted to leave it in because it kept these in line, the other ones. Do so. the paper get that big bit before it falls on my arm. Okay. <laughs> right, I'll do. <laughs> I'm sure I got this seal off my hands now. It doesn't come off. Doesn't come off. Doesn't Ever. Come off. Ever. I've got it from 1945, look. <laughs> <laughs> the year after the boat was built. Yeah. Anyway, that was good that. Um yeah. getting, getting back into the planks. Hopefully we're sort of very early in the weather. Hopefully the weather gets better for us. Still um, feels like winter. Yeah, it feels a bit crap, doesn't it? Yeah. But, um so for the next time what we're we doing beam shelf? Next time, beam shelf, some tops of frames. Yeah, and a load of nails. Oh, yeah. A load of nails to do down there. So. I don't mind the plank nails because they're tiny. Yeah. So it doesn't actually take much effort, yeah. does it? So yeah, so we are progressing and we're still on track to do the deck this yeah. summer. Yeah. Obviously, we're, it's we're, just weather. It's weather dependent. Yeah, we've got an up and coming video where we make... Do we make them all? I don't know. Ooh. All the deck beams. <laughs> We still haven't decided on what we're, what, on what we're coating them in yet, so if you guys could like chip in again, that'd be great. Yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> decisions. <laughs> Everything's a big like. It's a commitment, is the problem. It is. Another thing, what we need to do is think about is the sort of deck plan on where all the cleats are going to go. We've got a rough idea where they originally were, mm -hmm. but. Because we were having this conversation the other day and I said, when we do the decks, we can't mm. just. We can't do like what we did to the roof and just literally take just take it all, it all off. off. Yeah. Because cause we're tidal. We've still got to anchor the, the security, boat. security, yeah. So we're like, maybe we have to do the first bit of the boat, put the big, what's it called, the windlass on and yeah. the forward cleats before we remove our big spider cleat. I think that's maybe the sensible <sighs> option. So what we need to do as well as prepping, obviously all the woodwork on the hull ready for mm. the deck and the deck beams at the workshop, we now also need to prep all the cleats yeah. because we've got all the old cleats but they're minging aren't well, they they're not, they're not like that bad but i think when they go on they go on they don't come back off yeah because obviously you, you'd be sealing them and all that sort of stuff so it'd be nice to get them re-anodized i don't know whether that's hold whether on that's thing. should we pop back to the workshop so you can have a quick look at the cleats or i can go and get one from downstairs have oh, we got one downstairs yeah. <laughs> oh okay <laughs> hold on a minute So we've got a load of a load of cleats, big cleats, and fair leads. I need to figure out how many we've actually got. But so. what we could do with none of you guys is what is the best way? So what is the best way to make them look pretty again? Wheel acid. Car wheel acid. Yeah? Alloy wheels. I don't know. What was your opinion? Cause I'm sure they're anodized because by the looks of it here, I think very early on, I tried to put on the wire wheel and it just sort of like burnt up. Or do we send these off to someone and go, can you fix them with this process that, that you guys have just said, maybe like... But also what we need to do is make a nice wooden block for them to sit yeah, on okay, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it's a process. So basically, plywood goes on, fiberglass goes on. We've got a bit of a procedure for this. Then what we need to do is put some blocks on these. Screw these on, and then eventually our wooden deck then will come to that. Does that make sense? That's plan A. But yeah, we need a bit of a deck plan. See, obviously we don't know much about big boats and where all these cleats should be and the recommended places. But yeah, something we need to start thinking about now, and I. So your guys' input would be brilliant. That was a bit long-winded of an ending, wasn't it? Yeah, I should say goodbye, shouldn't we? <laughs> I know, I feel like we need to cut and do that again because all we do is talk, but it'd be nice to get you guys involved with sort of knowing our thought process yeah. and, and where we're going with things. But that's enough rambling for now. So yeah. thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much to all of our patrons, all of our coffee supporters, and everyone yeah. who sends us something from our Amazon wish list. Yeah. It, you don't realise the, the, the help that, that gives yes. us. So thanks, right. thank you all, and uh, we'll see you all next week. Yeah, see you guys. Bye. Bye. So today we're getting 54 mile hour winds it's going to peak at. Uh, the tide's going to be 9.8, but it's probably going to be a bit higher because the wind's going to push it in. It's coming right on the nose, luckily, so that's good. So we're not going to get pushed sideways or anything. I've got both engines in forward. I was going to go outside, but I can't get out of there. Well, I could, but I don't want to get blown off. Well, our tender that was over here somewhere has, has vanished. So we'll have to go and find that later. You never know, when the tide turns, it might come back. But well, being here on the aft deck, it's actually quite sheltered because all the wind's coming from the bow. So you can sort of get to about here, you just start to like feel.